So the third thing and last thing that we're talking about today is the Bel Air two season buyout by Peacock. So it's really rare for a show to get picked up on a trailer alone and then on top of that to get two seasons off of it. Um, I bet it helped having Will back them up for sure. I mean, it had to have. I mean, yeah, he represents the, the brand. You saw the trailer more recently than me because I, for the first time anyway, more mm-hmm. recently than me. What did you think of it? I thought, because I don't think about Fresh Prince of Bel-Air very often, so uh, having it just, it, it felt like a twist on what the IP was that I did not expect or see coming that I thought was very cool. Yeah. Like, oh, this is a what a more realistic version of this story would be as opposed to kind of like a sitcom like the original yeah. was. It's also moved up to today. So it's like you have all of the older characters. Like Bull said, imagine what Hillary would be like if she had social media. Do you remember which one Hillary is? The older yeah, yeah, sister. Yeah, the older sister. Uh-huh. Or like what Carlton would be like as a 2020 Republican. Like It's weird. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 interesting. It's an interesting concept. I think it's I think it's really interesting. Anyway, but um yeah, I would it make you get Peacock to see it? It depends on how good, how good it is. I Mind mean, you, Peacock will also have The Office. It will, but I, I don't feel the need to rewatch The Office five billion times like many other people. So I mean, I'm you okay haven't even that. seen it one time fully through. I've yet. seen most of the episodes. Okay. The vast majority of the episodes. You've seen season four through eight. Anyway. And two episodes, this is <laughs> nine. But, um, I don't think that's most of them. There's nine seasons. You're not even halfway through. Four through eight. And then, like, half the series, whatever. Almost. I saw Robert California. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right. Um, but, like, as far as, like, getting Peacock just to watch the show, I feel like it might be a YouTube premium thing or a YouTube red thing where the reason you'd get it was to watch Cobra Kai, but most people would just, like, do the free trial for one month, watch Cobra Kai, and then immediately unsubscribe before they had to pay. So I feel like it would be a similar thing where I would maybe just get it for one month and then watch this season unsubscribe this is and they did the same thing with like game of thrones like people would just buy the subscription for hbo now watch the show when it was on when it you know when all the episodes aired unsubscribe so it'd be like that kind of thing for me but here's the thing um peacock is owned by nbc which is a network correct um so i don't think based on like how networks have adapted to using youtube and other social media platforms not very well anyway I don't think that they'll be able to adapt this show to to release like regular streaming shows. That being said, they're definitely gonna re- re- they're definitely going to release this on a week to week basis for sure, without a doubt. And then I also think they're gonna do hiatuses like in between seasons. So I think they're gonna do what that network TV thing is that they do for some reason, where they release like half the episodes, then they have like a a weekend or or like a three four week hiatus in the middle of a season, and then release the other half. And I don't think that. That'll, that'll play out well with streaming because you're so used to getting absolutely every single thing up front and then just waiting a year. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and I bet Peacock is going to have ads. I just don't see a world where they're not going to have like ads. Yeah. So what I think is going to happen more often than, more likely than not, not more likely than not, but I think people are going to pirate it. Oh, I mean, that's, it's like, what, that's what, what that's else is for every there show, to yeah. get other than The Office which you can definitely pirate online. Yeah, <laughs> Not pirate encouraging pirating. No, but no, like, no. what else does Peacock have? Two seasons, though. That's impressive. An impressive buy. I think I would still get it, though, just because I want to support the actual people. But I would definitely cancel when it's not giving new episodes. Like, I would watch it and then cancel it. And then I'd get it again for the yeah. next season. I, I think it's good. I would definitely... What is it? Five bucks a month, you said, the subscription? I don't remember. So it's, it's pretty cheap, like, compared to... Uh, is it rate. out yet? It has to be, Peacock right? is out, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have it. Uh, they don't have Parks and Rec yet, right? Parks and Rec is still on Netflix, which... I mean, it's going to go to Peacock eventually, but... Yeah. But is Friends going to go on Peacock? Because I have HBO Max just to see Friends. Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure Friends is going to stay on HBO Max. But for, Friends is an NBC show. There must be some licensing deal that they worked out, because... How much money? Like, how much money do I have to go a to get you to get this shoe in off of my... Like, it has to be well over the amount of money that I would make having friends on my platform. Because if Peacock was like, this um, Friends is no longer going to be on Netflix, but we are going to put it on our exclusive service that's available as of today, 
people would just go over there now. Yeah. Like, so how much is HBO Max paying NBC to exclusively have um, friends? Well, I'll say this. Um, you know how I talked about how Peacock, I think five bucks a month would be the che- is like the cheap end of like the streaming market for a subscription. Mm-hmm. HBO Max is the most expensive end, which, which is like fifteen dollars. Mm-hmm. So there pro- there's a reason they're charging that much, and I believe licensing these properties is the reason for that. I mean, yeah, but it's HBO home box office. They own nothing. I mean, they own like Euphoria, I mean, like, Game of Thrones, stuff like that. But like it's owned by Warner Bros, right? No, yeah. I mean I don't I don't know who owns HBO, but uh, well, I mean they, they I would believe together. it because like all the DC stuffs on there, all oh. of like uh, Warner Brothers movies is on but there. But they have a lot of other they have like Paramount movies, I think, and like other movies. I think they're just properties that the company just kind of gobbled up. But like that's I'm just saying like that's the pro- that's the concept behind the home box office is like you can come here and watch whatever movie you want to watch because we have them all. They don't have them all, but th- we have a lot of movies. So come over here and watch our movies. Yeah, that's enough. like the thing. So it would have been more expensive anyway, just because you've always had to pay for for HBO. So now in a world where everybody else is paying for HBO, of course you're gonna have to pay more for HBO unless it comes with your cable subscription. Which if you have cable, why? But we have cable. We have cable because it came with our apartment. We didn't have cable because we chose it. Don't tell people we have cable. <laughs> it was forced. It was a forced purchase, uh, <laughs> definitely. Um, but yeah, with HBO Max. Um, they also have like all of the premium content that you'd associate with HBO, which I mean, compared to Netflix, they have like super high quality shows just like without the quantity, whereas Netflix is the exact opposite. But Netflix has the budget to have super high quality. No, they have a super high quantity of content, but they could have better. Like Stranger Things isn't a low quality show by any means. Well, that's that's the part of the strategy. They just produce so much content. They hope something like they're just kind of like throwing stuff at a wall and hoping, seeing what sticks. And then you'll eventually get some of those shows that are like Stranger Things where it's like yeah. super high quality. But then you'll get like 15 other shows that are like absolute garbage like with that. Shot in two days and like three different sets with like five actors that nobody knows the names of. Yeah. But then you have like they buy properties. Like they, or did they just buy one? No, they must have bought a multiple because they, they're doing Ratchet, which is the property. It's based off of I don't know if they bought one it. flew over the cuckoo's nest. Well, it's a Netflix original show. So they had to buy the IP for it. I mean, they may be, they may have licensed the IP to be able to make oh, the maybe. show. Oh, maybe. Well, they have. Um, I don't think they bought Fuller House. They may have the licensing for that because they don't have Full House. Full House is still on Hulu. So they don't have Fuller House on Netflix. It's I just like licensing it. BS. Then like, oh, we own this right, we own that right, but you know. They lost a lot of their Disney Channel content to Disney Plus. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, they still have some movies because of contracts and stuff. Right. But, I mean, is Netflix going to go out of business? Let me just say that we nope. watched one <laughs> We watched <Answer's> one no. <laughs> episode of Ratchet, and it's shot like a movie from the 60s, or really more like the 50s. Like, if you've seen Vertigo or Casablanca, like those era movies, it's shot just like that. But it's shot like that with today's... Um, technology and it is glorious to watch we didn't watch one flew over the cuckoo's nest because we didn't have to in school it wasn't (laughs) one of our books to read right we read um divergent instead (laughs) don't don't embarrass me (laughs) we did we did anyway um yeah so we didn't know what was happening the whole time we were like what is What's going on? Like, why is she doing this to people? So then I read the synopsis, and then I read the spark notes of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And we also haven't seen One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, but that's also on Netflix, so we'll probably watch that soon. See, that's probably why they have it on Netflix, so they can be like, hey, you like our show? That Go watch what inspired it kind of thing. No, honestly. But we, we genuinely just didn't know what was happening. But it, we still enjoyed it. It was really nice. It went over. It was... It's a really it's, good show from the first beautiful. episode. Beautiful. Yeah. We also watched Hoops. <laughs> it's okay. I don't remember anything that happened. I think Nick from New Girl is in it. <laughs> That's a theory. Don't. <laughs> That's a theory. You just kind of sounds, sounds like, like him. him. But like honestly, I slept through all but two and a half episodes, so I genuinely have no idea. There's a cranky little guy, and his dad's kind of mean, and he makes mistakes. Is he mean though? I feel like he just has like. A, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I actually saw the show, so I mean, I, I, it's basically about like this uh, coach 
who's kind of like failed at life and he has like super successful people around him. Um, and he kind of constantly compares himself to that and you can kind of tell he's bitter, but the, the, I don't know. It's like they try to doing this thing where you, they make the main character so flawed yet relatable like Bojack, except this man is unrelatable. And oh, it's a sucks. complete Bojack knockoff. Yeah. I mean, in the respect know. of the title scene. The title scene is like def it's like one hundred percent budget. Well regardless of the title scene, I think conceptually just like the character you follow and the, the the type of story that they're trying to tell where it's like you have a flawed character who is trying to work through these flaws as he like goes throughout life. They're kinda of ripping that off, but they don't do it nearly as well. No. So you don't like the character or wanna f- Yeah. I don't know. Bojack was great. We should do an episode about Bojack. We should do an episode about just cartoon shows in general. Comparing them, I like intelligent TV shows and movies that make you think, or movies that are like seemingly deep. So that way, when you like get to them, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But like when you when you're the more you watch it, the more you discover, and like you have to like peel away the characters. Like BoJack has some deep characters. Like I love the foil of Mr. Peanut Butter in the beginning and then how Mr. Peanut Butter just disintegrates into this completely different character but it's like it makes sense how he got there and it's not like well, why would they how do they do this how do they just pull this depressed dog out of nowhere but it's like he's been like you, you can just see it I don't know I just think it's great I genuinely do I, I, I like that show a lot will I watch it again probably not because it was kind of intense but I did appreciate it <laughs> no yeah it was definitely Definitely a good watch. So, yeah, go see BoJack. Don't don't watch Hoops. Yes, as you can see, we're a heavy Netflix users. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> um, I don't actually know if she knows we use her Netflix account. I mean, she's I already mentioned it multiple times. I don't know. She's not going to hopefully lock us out. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this uh, leave suggestions down below for what we should talk about next. We have so many videos coming up. I'm excited to shoot the video that we're going to do for The Mandalorian Season 2 that comes out next month. And um, what else are we going to talk about? Movies. Definitely a lot of movies. We're smart people. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Movies. Oh, nope. follow us on our social medias. I'll have them on the screen or down below. Yep. If you agreed with us, let us know. If you disagreed on anything, tell us why in the comments. And we will see you guys next week. All right. Share, like, subscribe. Peace, guys.